Hi, Dave St. George here again with Rethink Green as part of Greater Sudbury's Earth Fest. Going around all through Greater Sudbury, learn about some of the amazing grassroots programs going on here today. We are currently in the Greater Sudbury Public Library uh, lively uh, location with the great folks from Junction Creek about a super awesome backpack program. They're going to take us through how to do some pH tests, what this program's about, and how individuals or youth in this city can get involved, because there's always something to do in Greater Sudbury, and I'm very excited to talk to some folks here today. So tell us a bit about yourselves. Hi, so I am Olivia. I'm with the Junction Creek Stewardship Committee. I'm the Environmental Outreach and, Outreach and Science Communication Intern. Um, so I focus on doing like our education and youth programs uh, within the community and, and all that outreach. So a big part of our focus right now has been bringing youth, like working with Watershed Canada, so Monica over here, and bringing youth backpacks to the Greater Sudbury Public Library and the Um, so these are our lovely backpacks and we're super excited. We're hoping to really give people those tools and resources to get out and get exploring nature in their backyard. So one of the things that we have in our backpack are these really cool, there are water rangers test kits. Um, Monica can explain a little bit about that. Um, to help kind of demonstrate that, I've gone and I've taken um, a couple different water samples from Junction Creek and I threw in one lake that I was at. Um, recently just for fun because why not let's see the pH of that as well so I went and I grabbed some water from behind uh, Junction Creek that runs behind the new Sudbury Center so behind our, the Walmart there Twin Forks which is known to have some pretty clean water so we had our brook trout released there uh, just a couple weeks ago um, so it's nice and clean there St. George so off LaSalle and then Mailey Drive which is a tributary that goes into Junction Creek so it, it feeds right into there um, so yeah we'll I hand it over to Monica, she can introduce herself, and we'll do a lovely pH test to see you know, what's going on with our water. Sure, so I'm Monica, I'm the Communications and Fundraising Manager at Watersheds Canada, which is a nonprofit and charitable organization based out in Perth, so over by Ottawa, um, but we are a national organization helping people take action to protect their lakes, rivers, and shorelines. So today, uh, as Olivia mentioned, explaining one of the elements in the backpacks are these little Water Ranger Tiny Test Kits. So they are also a nonprofit organization really looking at mobilizing communities to take water quality samples and see the health of their local fresh water. So in the tiny test kit, we have two main sample tools. We have a thermometer, which is used to uh, measure the air temperature and the water temperature, and then some pH strips. So I don't know if you have a sample you'd like to check out first. Uh, I'm really curious about the St. George one. <laughs> sure. Let's go with that one. So these pH strips are available to borrow in the backpack. So when you're pulling them out, you want to make sure that you're grabbing them by the white part at the top. So you'll see there's these four colors at the top. We don't want to be touching those um, because uh, the oils on our hands can ruin the sample. And you also want to make sure you have dry hands, same thing, so the water on your hands isn't influencing. So there are four main colors, or sorry, squares here. The top one is measuring chlorine. So if you think about chlorine, that's something that purifies our water. We use it in pools a lot, but it's not something that should be found in nature. So if we're seeing a measurement of really one or above, that means something is going wrong in that water. So there's a lot of chlorine present. Maybe there's some leaching from a plant or someone's pool. So we'll be able to see that. The second one is pH, so the power of hydrogen. This is basically talking about how acidic or basic the water is. And so this will influence things. If the water's really acidic, then fish will have a hard time spawning, and also uh, macroinvertebrates will have a hard time building their shell. And so this is something also that tells us if there are, okay, if there is a risk of having an algal bloom. So if we have really, um, sure. <laughs> if we have a slightly acidic, uh, sorry, a slightly basic water, then we know that there is a risk of having an algal bloom. We, do I keep going? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next one is measuring the alkalinity. So this is the water's ability to keep itself neutral, so that pH of about seven or eight, and not getting too acidic or basic. And this can be influenced by the surroundings of the water. So if we look at the bedrock or the plants that are around it, um, having a Higher reading is not always a bad thing, especially for somewhere like Sudbury where there's a lot of limestone. 
And then the last one is the hardness. So this is just measuring the amount of dissolved ions in the water. So things like calcium carbonate and magnesium. So um, maybe I'll just get you to help me. Yeah. So you're just going to put it in the water for about two seconds. Make sure all four squares are submerged. And then you can pull it out and just kind of rest it on the container. And so we'll wait a little bit to see what happens with the colors. And then we have a handy dandy guide um, in each of the kits that will help determine who did the reading. You want to try your hand at reading it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got. Okay. I don't know if I can do this upside down. We'll try. All right. Get this thing down. And we'll just like place it right beside it and see what we got. Um, so right now it's looking like for total chlorine. I'd say it's between zero and zero point five. So we wanted underneath one. Yep. So Great. that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. Uh, for pH, ooh, okay, it's a little bit exciting. So I'm gonna put pH between six point eight and seven point two, which is usually what we want our water to be, um, if we think that distilled water is normally a pH of seven. Um, or for our alkalinity, ooh, this is a hard to do. Here. I'm going to put it between 120 and 180. So that's moderate to high, which makes sense given the bedrock of home recovery. Yeah, we got a lot of that limestone. And then for hardness, I'm going to put that between like 200 and 400, I'd say. Because all that stuff in our water. Yeah, all the dissolved, dissolved ions in the water. <laughs> yep. So each of these kits come with about 10 test strips, so people can either test the same place each week if they rent out the backpack more than once, or if they want to go around to a whole bunch of different locations in the greater Sudbury area, they can use them all up there. And the really neat thing about Water Rangers is that you can actually submit those sightings online. So with Community Science, there's a giant open source database so that we can contribute to the research being done for our fresh water. This is something that scientists can't do alone, but we can help them and provide results to show how our water is changing maybe over the summer and different conditions that happen that way or year after year and seeing things like pollution and how it's affecting uh, the water or in the case of Junction Creek how all of the restoration efforts are actually helping improve the water quality. That's great. And then we have the workbook that also can help guide through especially these pH ones because mm -hmm. there's a water quality um, activity that's actually in there. Yeah, <laughs> Monica wants to bring that up. But that's the beautiful thing about this workbook. It really, yeah, <laughs> it really helps kind of give those um, that inspiration to to spur that exploration. If you're not quite sure to start, we you know there's a big bag of resources. What the what do we do with it? So our handy dandy workbook will help kind of you know guide you through it because well, what we just gave you was a lot. Um, so this will kind of simplify it and make it a little bit easier. So yeah, we're super excited. So that's just one of, there are 10 activities in there? Yeah, 10 yeah. activities, a uh, number of different identification guides in here as well. So yeah. depending on what type of species people like or want to learn more about, um, we have reptiles, dragonflies and damselflies, um, macro and vertebrates, trees, birds, wildflowers, and animal tracks. So depending on if people are more inclined to the land or the water, if they want things that are a bit uh, more really docile yeah. towards them, <laughs> they have a wide variety of things that they can uh, learn more about. And then some field tools in here as well to help further that exploration. So we have a dip net and identification jar with a magnifying glass and then some binoculars. Get you out and get you exploring and just you know, see where there's stuff and figure out what's, what's going on out there. So, Monica, do you have a favorite animal? In the background? I heard that yours was the binoculars. Mine yeah. The binoculars. And spotting birds, I was saying that she was like, you know, those are great for even spotting like turtles on the logs and that that are in the water or ducks in the bar. Like, uh, so many great things that you can do with them. <laughs> So, hi, Dave St. George still here. I just let them do all the hard work. Uh, how can people get involved in this program? Yeah, 
So these backpacks will be available at three different locations throughout Greater Sudbury. So at the Greater Sudbury Public Library. So we're here in Lively now. They'll be available to check out today um, in Lively. So we're super excited that we're a little bit ahead of schedule as far as being able to push them out. They'll also be available at the Downtown Mackenzie Library and then the Garson Public Library as well. So one end of Sudbury to the other is our, <laughs> our goal with that. You can come, you can take them out. They are good to take out for a week at a time. Um, and then you bring them back to the, to the library that you got. But the thing, there's some things in the backpacks that you're allowed to keep. So like that workbook, that's yours. That test strip, those are yours. I mean, you really want those ID guys back, but like there are some goodies that you do get to, to take with you. So we're really excited about that. Yeah. So if you have someone in your family, you want to go take a Junction Creek adventure, which literally what this is, is a cool adventure you can go on, hit one, hit one of the great locations. Uh, the McKenzie Library right now for that till about one thirty, I believe, at this library location here in Lively as well, and visit Junction Creek uh, online to get involved. I think this is really awesome. Thank you so much, both of you, for this explanation. Absolutely, and uh, you know, test your water. All right, test your streams. Thank you. <laughs>